My retirement doesn't mean yeah, 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 yeah. Your job now is to stand by our new manager. Are you ready? Da, 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 da. Hi, welcome back to another episode of the Manchester United Save. I don't know what the intro was today, just ignore it. Uh, so then, after last episode's horrendous performances against Tottenham and Manchester City, actually they weren't that bad, two penalties have cost us. Uh, the league is looking not great, oh, so much not great. Uh, so our focus has switched then to the Champions League where we play two legs against Benfica. Now I'm not going to bring you the Southampton game uh, in the middle of it, I'm going to bring you both Champions League games and then next episode we'll wrap up the season, a little bit of a season review next episode. So, uh, in today's episode Benfica are the opposition the Champions League semi-finals look a little bit like this Real Madrid will be playing, uh, will be playing Paris Saint-Germain uh, in Madrid and we'll be playing Benfica in Portugal it's going to be exciting it's going to be interesting I feel like we've got a kind draw uh, at this point will we get the sort of the perfect romantic final against Cristiano Ronaldo that's the big question a man we tried to sign in the January wasn't interested. Uh, so let's look at today's team. So we've got quite a few injuries. Uh, Marcus Rojo's out. What's for Barkley? Obviously still out. Uh, a survey out as well. Anthony Marshall, for some reason, can't feature today. Uh, so I've had to go with a little bit of a change around, a little bit of a switcheroo. Uh, you can see from the team here, Damian is in on a fullback attack, and I'll bring, I'll come to that to why in a moment. Uh, the Fridge and Phil Jones are actually going to play at the back today uh, with Luke Shaw uh, also filling in. But Asher, is, he's been doing all right. He's just not been in top form recently. You can see there, 6.76, not being great. I feel like just freshening up a little bit um, it's the away fixture as well which I feel like gives us a bit more of an advantage to sort of just go for it not worry about defending as much uh, Luke Short left back Pogba and Javi Martinez in the middle change their roles up a little bit playing Pastore just in front uh, Yanisar on the left Morata through the middle who's been on hot goal scoring form you can see there 28 in uh, 37 appearances including substitutions and finally Jesse Lingard a player that we almost sold or loaned out uh, in the journey window. It's going to play as an inside forward and the reason for that is that Damien can get up uh, alongside him and provide as much as possible uh, and having Martinez will slot in just a little bit. So, hopefully that's tactically all over the place. Let me just get rid of that. Uh, get stuck in. Don't need it. Um, so, as we go into today's game against Benfica, can we win? Can we win? Bob the Builder? I don't know. Still not feeling great. So, if I have a little cough or a splutter, you'll know why because I'm allergic to shit performances. Right, you can see they're not playing with midfield so, um, and we are that's an interesting formation it's a big gap there I feel like we should put someone's face in there whose face should we put in there can we just put Zlatan's face in the middle just fade it oh look at that that is my word I don't know why I did that I've got absolutely no idea I just figured you know fancy in it he's not even playing today he's not even starting I've, I've decided to put his face in the Benfica middle it's a strange choice. Anyway, let's get uh, let's get into the today's game. Then. Let's get excited about it. Let's make that formation bigger. And let's focus on a win away from home. Away goals of maximum importance. Let's not concede any. Let's uh, let's score some goals. In Europe as well, we've been doing all right. We've been doing fine. It's just the league where we've been uh, making a bit of a mess of it. As Jesse Lingard threw on goal. Now, that is, this is a risk. Playing Jesse Lingard today is a risk, I'll admit. And if we had Martial, this wouldn't be happening. But we haven't, so things have changed. Of course, we could have played Pastore out on one side and then brought Dembele through the middle, but I just wanted to give Pacey Lingard a chance out there. That's not his name, he's called Jesse. Pacey Lingard. Okay, Luke Shaw plays it into Yanazai on this left-hand side. Can he find a ball into the middle? Gives it back to Luke Shaw. Ball delivered in. Oh, I think that's it. Is that the bar? Is it saved? I'm not entirely sure. I think it was headed away, in fact. And uh, Benfica, actually, with a chance to bring this forward. That looked incredible, the way the ball stayed in there. And they get a chance on goal and they've scored. Holy moly, the ball down the wing was sort of... Whoa! Stop it before you look stuff. I don't think they're going to show the ball down the line, but it was it was like it was going so far out of play and then seemed to curl back in. And that ball there is also pretty good. De Gea has got absolutely no chance. It's 1-0 Benfica. Bloody hell. Our recent form, I tell you, we have just gone to pot. Not attacking anymore. Control. We're going to control. No, standard. Standard's what I like. Standard flexible. We're not getting stuck in. I think that might be the problem. Okay, at half time, I feel like I'm going to have to do some some mischief because if we can get an, if we can get ourselves an away goal, that will potentially game changing so um all right i'm pleased with how things are going which isn't true we're going to exploit both flanks we're not going to work the ball into the box anymore and we're going to only put in low crosses i feel like that might be the thing we need be more, be more expressive but stick to the positions i feel like i'm sending so many mixed messages fairly wide there we go i've just i've clicked i've clicked buttons i've early curtains it right up damian gets a start in today's game and now looks like he's gonna have to come off 
do you know what there's not long left to go we're going to bring him off immediately well there's, there's a little bit left to go that's probably why we're going to take him off uh, Phil Jones I don't want him as an attacking uh, full back that's, that's for damn sure but Ashley in fact is now going to come on then uh, with the fridge Zlatan I'm tempted I'm so tempted to just bring him on he's got an X factor about him right we're bringing him on Monata is a deep line forward on support. Zlatan, complete forward attack. I just feel like Zlatan's got something magical away from home. I just feel... he's not. I keep saying this and he's not doing anything. Today is the game. Benfica with a free kick. Pizzi. I guess that's some good defending. And then I don't know what De Gea's doing. Half an hour left to go. And so far... Once again here, folks, it's not looking too good. Admittedly, they've only got one. But I feel like unless we score, this is going to put us in a world of hurt. I feel like we miss having Jami Martinez as that anchoring midfielder, that defensive midfielder, just, just covering the defence. I feel like we're left far more exposed than I ever wanted to be. So that might be something to look at going to the next game. As, again, Benfica come forward with it. Nelson Semindo, uh, Bazua, Aruka. I'm just guessing names. Uh, they've, got, they've kept the ball for a long time. Eh? Gaetan is a player I know can cause problems. Plays it out to Congolo. Back to Gaetan. I, I'm fearful, folks. I'm fearful. Jimenez into the box. David De Gea makes a save and holds it. That is a big save. Okay, 20 or so minutes to go. We're going to go back to attacking. I feel like we've got to try and get something out of this, right? It's got to happen. We can't sit back and wait. An away goal could be crucial. Even if we, if we score an away goal and they score two, that's far better for us. Right, I'm going to get... We're higher tempo, close down more for the last five minutes. They're all knackered, but we've got to get something. It's just not forthcoming. There's not been any highlights at all, actually. This is this is really one of the only highlights in all of the game, and it's going to bring an end to the game. Benfica 1, Manchester United 2. And Why do I keep saying Manchester United 2? Like, that's the thing. It happened last episode as well. Not ideal for us at all. Unlucky boys, it wasn't our night. I don't know. Something wasn't right, and it's got to be fixed. We've got, I don't know, a week to do it? Come on. Elsewhere, PSG won 3-1. Uh, Ronaldo scored a penalty. Madrid actually went down to 10 men within the first minute. And, uh, yeah, and Paris Saint-Germain made them pay. Not a great start. Uh, we play... Oh, Damien's out for uh, about a week now as well. We play Southampton, uh, but the next game we'll see together uh, will be... Oh, that's interesting. Will be the, uh, the Benfica second leg. Zlatan hasn't scored in 10 matches. I'm not sure I can start him next game. Not a chance. Okay then, so uh, we've, we're back. Hello, welcome. We uh, drew against Southampton 1-1. Disappointing result, really. And we are winless in four matches. So we go into this game at home against Benfica. 1-0 down on aggregate uh, with it all to play for. The Premier League, by the way, which is what we'll focus on next episode, uh, is pretty tight. Obviously, we don't really want to finish fourth because we have to go through ridiculous group stage nonsense or knockout stage nonsense. Um, we also have to go straight into the group stage. So the next episode does actually have some meaning, which is always nice. Uh, and obviously, a Champions League final is possible. So let's try and get there too. The team we're going to play today is something of the sort of the, the bygone era the familiarity that we've seen before um phil jones though at right back he, he just seems to love it he's on attack though we should probably ah, leave him there let him do whatever he wants uh, banashia jimenez and Shaw at the back javi martinez now sitting in front i mentioned this last uh, game as well pogba and schneidlin sat just in front uh doing different roles schneidlin is an advanced playmaker i just think it'll work and if it doesn't work Musa Dembele. There we go. Uh, Yanazai on the left. Uh, Douglas Castro is back after injury on the right. And Morata through the middle. I do think we'll have more success with this. Uh, we're going to start standard, flexible, uh, and keep all the instructions as they are normally. Let's see how we get on. A win is of paramount importance. They're playing not as a defensive formation this time. They're playing sort of, well, mm, it's strange. They're a bit more connected. I'll say that much. Now, a Champions League final is what we desire. Now, Benfica... I know they're not terrible, okay? They've got they've got a chance to beat us here, but we have to be sure that we're ready. Actually, if Gaetan's left wing, having Phil Jones on attack is only going to be a mistake. We'll put him on defend. We'll change it completely. Okay, chance for us. Luke Shaw on this left-hand side brings the ball forward. He's got plenty of men in the middle. Plays it back to Javi Martinez, who's got men in front of him. Gives it to Schneidlin, who lays it off to Pogba, who can shoot from distance, but decides not to. Gives it back to Martinez. It's Pogba now. Maybe with a shot of goal? No. Oh, Phil Jones. He's out there. <laughs> Where's he going to put it? Back to Pogba. Pogba. Back to Schneidlin. It's very like we're controlling the play quite nicely. We just had a shot of goal, which didn't work, though. Martinez now back out to Phil Jones, who's far more into this game than I anticipated him to be, uh, who switches it back out to Martinez. It's just the Phil Jones Martinez show right now. Is Jones going to play into the middle? Hmm. Yes, he is. Morata he's there he heads it into the corner and there it is seven minutes into the game and uh, Alvaro Morata with his 29th goal of the season puts us in the lead it's Phil Jones and Martinez magicians the pair of them it's the maybe the weirdest double act since David Moyes and Fellaini I mean I go with something obvious I don't know I, I was trying to think of double acts that don't make sense but generally speaking if you are a double act there's good reason for it. I mean, name your favourite double act in the comment section below that's what this is descending into now what's your favourite double act? What's your favourite double act? I need to come up with better topics. Okay, the, the clock is just sort of... 
It's ebbing closer to half time. Pogba once again struggling for fitness. That seems to be a theme of Paul Pogba. Ever since we bought him, he doesn't finish the game strongly. He always he puts a lot of effort into the first half, which I respect, but it's not helping me. I don't know if he's just susceptible to picking up knocks or what, but in this very even game, a player like Paul Pogba will make a difference. As we get to half time, uh, which seems imminent, there it is. It's a little concern. I mean, Dembele is there if needs be, as is Pastore. But for now, we're going to stay as we are. I'm going to uh, assertively say, I'm pleased with how things are going, keep it up. And they seem delighted. Okay, a big half of football. A Benfica goal causes, well, actually not that many problems. No, actually load, loads of problems. Because that, then that's an away goal. So yeah, don't let them score. Phil Jones on a yellow card. He has got an assist though. I mean, he's got one good thing, one bad thing. Pogba really is struggling for fitness. I think Dembele might have to enter the arena okay there's not long to go schneidlin's on a yellow card but we are going to bring on musa dembele uh for paul pogba he, he suits this role so i feel like it's going to work as, as far as attacking options are going a couple of bookings in the middle which i am a little bit fearful of obviously we could have brought sven bender on um i'm going to keep things as they are though and just hope we prevail we've got a formation that we're used to morgan schneidlin's now picked up a knock okay we're going to take schneidlin off we're going to bring on pastore schneidlin's on a booking as well luke shaw's now picked up an injury this is going so well this will indeed go to extra time. Luke Short is now really struggling for fitness, and I don't know what we're going to do about it. We will save our final substitution, and it'll probably be defensive, but this is not ideal. Oh, God. It looks like we're going to extra time with a Luke Shaw that is not up for it. Do we bring the fridge on? Do we bring Sven Bender on? Do we bring Danny Graham on? I mean, there's so many options. I think for now, as we have done all game and it and got us in the leads, we carry on as we are. We say we're pleased with the performance, and we change very little, although I am concerned about everything. <laughs> okay, extra time against Benfica. It's going the distance. I think an away goal for them still puts them through. So we need to just not panic. Come on, boys. A victory. A victory. I'm very nervous now. We get at that point, extra time. You don't see extra times all that often. So when you do, you get nervy. I don't think we've had one yet in the Champions League. So, yeah, I'm a bit worried. Penalty shootouts are not good. In terms of fitness, I'm very tempted to bring on an attacking player i'm so tempted i mean danny graham is an option he's a target man that's all i'm thinking he's a target man can monata play out left he can what's the other penalty taking like it's not great what's danny graham's like very good it's got very good penalty taking am i about to bring danny graham on in an extra time of a champions league semi-final i am i'm bringing him on because i think as daft as it sounds oh god danny Graham. imagine if Dan danny graham puts us in a champions league final however unlikely it seems oh god I think the real the real amazing thing here is that Luke Shaw is still on the football pitch and providing us with an 8.2 performance, it's penalties. And, and our best penalty taker is Danny Graham. <laughs> it's so stupid. You've got to put Graham in at four and then just hope. Actually, put Morata a little bit higher up. Okay, this is the, this is the list. Pastore, Costa, Morata, Graham, Dembele. Oh my God. Okay, what we'll do for a special treat is put it in 3D. Okay, here we are then, folks. Jonas pops it home. Not a drama, not a problem for him, which is a problem for us in many ways. Let's get rid of these facts. They no longer matter. Have a Pastore with the first, a January signing. Pastore! That's not good. That's not good at all. Gaetan, he's been a thorn in my side. Gaetan slots home. It was easy as well. What's the keeper doing over there? I didn't like it. Douglas Costa. Come on, my man. There we go. Finished off easily. De Gea is loving it. Okay, Renato Sanchez. We need it. We need them to miss one. Oh, they're, they're sliding them in like nobody's business. Morata got to score really. Otherwise, there's so much pressure. If Benfica score, Benfica win. Luis Sal with it. De Gea. It's got to be now, mate. Didn't even get to Graham. Didn't even get to him. Didn't even get to Danny Graham. Should have put Danny Graham on first. Should have put him on. Should have had him taking the first one. And there we are. A Champions League semi-final exit. We won a game, though. That's good. Won a game. We would have played PSG in the final. The return of Angel Di Maria. It would have been emotional. But, um, sadly, it's not to be. They've described it as a hiccup. A hiccup. We've got 5 million, which is good, because we haven't got any money. So there we are, folks. The Champions League dream's over. That's, uh, that's been a good season, hasn't it? That's been a top-notch season. Yeah, real good. Real uh, top, top quality. Next episode, you find out if you're not finished fourth. We're doing one more season. I'm telling you now, If it, even if it crosses over with Salford, we're doing one more season. Oh, for goodness sake. If you have enjoyed today's video of my upset and despair, then 
please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel from me, Dr. Benji. Until next time, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Can't believe this. Can't, what, is, what is the point? What waste of everybody's time this has been?